Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 13 of Seven Days to Die. I'm E Shadow, and we're just going to carry on right where we left off. Now, I came up with a couple of uh, things while I was between episodes. Uh, and one of them was... Um, I figured out a way to get concrete without having to go all the way back to the desert, uh, since there's the new patch. And I'm not sure if this was part of the old patch, but whatever. It's there, so I'm going to use it. So, over here, uh, right about here. There we go. Uh, we're going to dig ourselves a mining shaft. Uh, just to get ourselves some supplies and lots of good shit. Yeah. Now, one thing I do need to get is those inventory sticks. Nope. Letters. Um, what am I doing here? Ladders. Oh, okay, wrong way. Grab some ladders. Do to do. Okay. So, um, now, with the uh, structural integrity of this world, you have to be very careful when digging holes. Um, and you have to watch what you're doing, especially with these ladders. There's some weird bugs with these things. Uh, the hit radius on these ladders is not like Minecraft. They actually take up an entire block's worth of a hit radius. So you have to kind of watch yourself a bit on these. Same with these torches. They take up an entire hit radius. So this is rock. Clay. Oh, that's good. Is this clay that I'm digging into right here? Or is it just random? Clay ball. Clay bowl. Um, no trussing. Uh, iron reforging club. I don't know exactly, but anyway, we have clay, which is good. And we getting stone. So we just have to watch ourselves down here. It's always a good idea to keep your <coughs> pardon me, your ceiling shored up a bit. Um. Okay, what I should do first is go to my shotgun and reload. I should always make sure I have a full clip. Uh, inventory, take up the shells. And then inventory, put in torches. So, I'll make sure I can always get out of here if I need to. Now, one thing that I've been suggested, always dig a level below uh, when the rock starts, just to make sure that everything is going to be sturdy. So, which means basically you're going to board up that, and you're going to make 
make sure you got ladders. So you want to go one level below the uh, the stone, just so it supports all the dirt above it. So now I can just dig out a good ways and not worry too much about having a huge collapse. Quite a bit of materials down here. And once you start digging out to a certain extent, you'll want to start reinforcing things. There's quite a bit of coal down here. Um I think stone has a does have a better structural integrity than uh, wood do, or than dirt does because I believe dirt only has a one or two radius to the whole thing. So uh, you got to keep your eyes out on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by digging out a three wide. place the floor with dirt at some point. Oh, I think that is lead ore? Is that lead? Or is that iron? I'm not sure. I'll get that in a minute. Come on down and say hi. Don't want to? Okay. Maybe I'll just wait for me to turn my back. And I'll come charging right down. He is right this very moment. Seems quite confident in himself. Nowhere near as confident as I am in my shot. Zombies. I see you out there, Mr. Hornet. But oh well. Anyway, so, first thing I'm going to want to do is build a furnace or a forge. A little different than the Minecraft forge, but no worries. So, we're going to slap this forge down. Uh, I think it's shift, isn't it? There we go. Forge E. Now I need to make a mold uh, to forge ingots. So I need any kind of fuel, a forge, uh, the metal itself, and a mold. Uh, what was that? Uh huh? Hmm, I don't know. Well, at least I got that done. Now, for this, I'm going to store the rest of that in there. Uh, I need to figure out this lump of clay. A mold. Um, oh, here we go. Molds. It's because I didn't have it in the inventory. Lead mold. So that's lead mold and iron mold and a brass mold. Um... I have plenty of lead right now for shots, so I don't think I need to worry about that. I think iron's going to be the most important. So, I have an iron mold, which I'm not sure if this has a durability to it. Oh, it adds... Oh, that's cool. It has a little help bar down here. 
So I'll put that down there. Shouldn't have anything to worry about at this point. But that's good. Um, uh, process this, process this, because I imagine that these are going to be the main... That's going to be a heavy fuel source if I have quite a bit of it. Dirt. Uh, e. It needs to be a quick stack function like Terraria. I think that should be uh, a thing in this game. At least, at least in my opinion. To keep my eye out for more clay. Um, some buzzer jam. Do -do. I'll put my reinforced concrete in there. Now, um, from what I understand, there's a really good way of getting a good supply of concrete if I head south. So if I head southwards, I should be able to get to the wastelands, and there's a bunch of cinder blocks and stuff lying around which I can turn into concrete without having to go get sand and stuff. So it's 10 o'clock. Um, should I make a dash? Should I make a Mrs. Dash? Um, oh, hello. I think I should make a run. Run! I don't think it's too far, considering I'm further south on the map than I was at the, at the shed. So, let's hope. I don't think it should be too great of a distance. bet in, uh, it's in a little more like Minecraft and you can just run as long as you're not hungry. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the waste right there. Is that the waste or is that the burnt out areas? Little spider. Spider creature. Now, if I look at the map, this is the burnt out area. So if I glance at the map, uh, that is to the west. I want to go for this. Gotta watch myself in here with the, uh... The bees. I know there are bees down here. Big. Come on, where's this wasteland? I would much enjoy seeing the wastelands. Because unfortunately, day does go by pretty quick in this world. Not in the wastelands. Is that a crying child I hear? It's really fucking creepy. Some of the ambient noises they use are really, really disturbing. Brought more water with me. What the hell? Is that a split? Ah, here we go. Perfect. So, grab a bunch of these. Grab it. So all this stuff is basically just concrete waiting to be recycled. 
This is also one of the most um, effective places to um, gather scrap metal as well. Because if you do this, and this stuff, this stuff is all scrap metal. <clears throat> Pardon me, I seem to be coughing a lot lately. Oh, don't want to break that. Now, at some point, I will have to head down to um, Gravetown and grab as much as I can from there. Hello. Grab that, grab that. As much as I can. And then I gotta bolt. At least bolt as much as I can. Don't know why I'm not clicking. Doesn't really affect it. back east. Got a bunch of this stuff on the way. Just as much as I can. And we'll just book it back. I won't grab any more scrap metal at this point, just because it's getting a little too late in the day to be pickaxing. It's already three. I'm quite a ways from home. What do I got? That's quite a bit. So yeah, I should really get out of here now. Just head northeast. Back to the lake. Back home. I just pray that night doesn't hit and I'm stuck out here. If I come across any houses on the way back, I'll try and either scavenge them for water or something like that, because I only have one jar left on me. Hello, Hornet. I'm not all that interested in you right this moment. I think what might have happened the last time when I mentioned that I lost my shotgun, I think I might have just accidentally pressed Q and dropped it somewhere. Okay. Here's the tree line. Since there's a slight parallaxing going on, I can still kind of tell where I'm going. Now yeah, there's a car there. Has that been eluded? It's a floating car. Apparently it has. So let's swig this. Heading upwards. I should hit the lake very quickly here. There's one of the cabins. And there's my home. Great. I hate when I run out of sprint, I feel so vulnerable. same backpack I looted in the last episode. Cool. Alright. Back. Get time to get in. And see if I can actually make myself a metal door. Allegedly, the pickaxe is what you're supposed to use to get into this thing. Which 
just takes for freaking ever. Oh yeah, and I'm also extremely weak right now. Oh crap, I need food. I'm gonna start hurting myself. Get it back? What? Ooh, that could be bad. Well, granted, I did pick up a bit of extra scrap metal. Damn. So I don't get that back. Okay, I need to think quickly. I'll just scrap metal. I make a scrap metal door. Scrap iron door. Um, first question I should be asking, can I make anything harder than that? Uh, iron ingots. Um, door, door, door. Scrap iron door. No, I want a hardened metal door. Um, door, hard metal. Good. Hardened metal door. I realize that this. Come on, place. I want this place. What? No. Come on. What? Oh, don't tell me it's bugged. It's because I don't have anything on the top. I hope that's the reason. I want it, please! Uh. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, should I make a scrap door instead? Time being, scrap iron door. Okay, I'll just make this instead. Please work, please work, please work. What? It won't work here! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Okay, four thousand concrete. Lots and lots of concrete. <coughs> um. Okay, I don't like wasting these, but I may have to. One bit of trussing. Just temporarily. I figured out why these doors aren't going in. Like, do they need an actual like harder frame or something? I don't know. Shut that door. I wonder. Do they need a hard doorway like this? That might be the problem. Since I have it. Uh, scrap iron door. I don't think they like using the iron trussings as uh, a door frame. That's probably it. Now, one thing I was thinking of doing after I got that concrete was... A Concrete ramp. Um, 
was going to use that in place of a staircase. So what I was going to do was change this up a little bit. Dip that and that, block that up. Um, knock that out, that out, that out, and that out. And then take... Um, That out, that out. Oh, shit, bad timing. No, stop that. Knock that off. That is annoying. Highly, highly rude. I was in the middle of something. So. Uh. Ah! Fuck off, you stupid things. Oh, I don't have enough room there. Okay, you gotta really get on my nerves. Come here. Oh, God. My head's up. Ooh, scrap iron. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. That's what I want to do, is I want to make a ramp that just goes right up to the roof. What I could do... could do this. Knock this beam out. I'm running out of time. And taking up quite a bit of time already. I'm wasting one of these trusses again. Which I don't like. It would at least be nice if you got some scrap metal back from them. There, 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 there. And then take the ramps, put 
them. There. 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 Then knock. Bit of a steep incline for a staircase, but <coughs> it would have done the exact same if I had done it with regular stairs, too. That there, just so it kind of looks neat ish. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Now we got a bit of a problem with the bees, but I'll figure that out. Now that I've got the concrete, I will try and make myself a bit more reinforced concrete and build the walls up a bit more. But anyway, thank you once again for joining me. This has been East Shadow for episode 13 of Seven Days to Die. I uh, hope you're all enjoying it. Uh, if you are, feel, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, post suggestions for future games. And uh, until next time, we will see you soon.